there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Could have the long lines in the water, X. Hammersley will hug the coastline out of visual. Out. Copy that, sir. We're approaching from the east using the morning sun for cover. Guns are out. Australian Navy! Stay seated, thank you, gentlemen. Down, please, sir. Stay seated, please, sir. Australian Navy, you the master of the vessel, sir. Oi, what the hell's going on? You the master of the vessel, sir. What are you doing on my boat? X. I don't think they're foreign fishing. Sir, what are you doing in these waters? No, we're just fishing. Which one's that across? Hey, stay back, please, sir. Stand over there, please. Yeah, all right. Before deck clear, man. Captain X, over. Go ahead, X. It looks like Coast Watch's intel is incorrect, sir. The craft of interest is not an FFE. So what is she? Australian flagged vessel, the Breakaway 3, with 4 POB. They claim to be fishing. Over. OK. I'll inform Coast Watch, apologise for any inconvenience and head back to the ship. Hammersley out. Copy that. They're not fishing. Well, why do you say that? There's no nets, no bait, no blood and guts on the deck. No fish. So you won't mind if we have a look over your vessel? Well, yeah, I do, as a matter Swain. of fact. Excuse me, sir. Look, what are you doing? You've got no right to Just routine, mate. Calm down. X! OK, two dads, Roy, you stay up on deck. Dutchie with me. Excuse me. Stay right there. Come on, it smells pretty rank down here. <gasps> They're grub running. By the looks of it. What do you think it is? Whiskey. Cheap Asian stuff. Do you want to head up top and see if they've got some paperwork for this stuff? Sure. Oh, Swain. Get Ro to come down with a video. Yes, ma'am. Once we've got some footage of this stuff, we'll lock the hold down and question the men separately. What is that noise? Rats. Ro, do you want to get some footage? No, ma'am. Yeah, let me get this tarp out of the way. Dose! Dose! Drop it. Drop the gun or I'll cut us for it! Drop it. Drop it. The machete. Drop your guns or I'll slit our throat, I swear I will! Drop them! Put down your gun, right? Dutchie, what are you I doing? I said put it down. Okay. Okay, mate. Drop in the guns. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Just take it easy. Out of here. Grab the keys to the inflatable. Thunder, this is Hammersley, over. Listen to me, Quinn. We can't take it with us. Thunder, this is 
Dump her in the lid with the rest of them. Look, we're holding on to her. Insurance. She's baggage we don't need. We're dead in the water anyway. Just let her go. We can't follow you. Shut up. Get us out of here now. Thunder, this is Hammersley. Radio check. What now, sir? We've got to get around that headlamp bomber. Flat strap. Port 15, revolutions 2000. See you, boys. Five Motorola radios. All I can say is there better be a damn good reason for such an almighty stuff up. Um, Sir Tidads and I were up on deck. They just took us by surprise, not that it's an excuse. You got that right. What happened in the hold? Sir, It I... was my fault. I let my guard down and he had a machete at my throat before anyone could react. Uh, video is ready, sir. This is their cargo, sir. Whiskey. We suspect they're grog running. Where's the rest of it? Uh, there may be. A fault with the equipment. I may have knocked the wire when I went from. Oh, this equipment. just gets better and better. One stuff up after another. He had a machete. You both had pistols. Why did you give up your advantage? That was my call, sir. He was threatening to cut the ex's throat. In my judgment, he was prepared to carry it out. I still don't understand how one man with a machete overpowered the three of you. All right. What a bloody mess. I'll contact Navcom, give them the great news. You better hope we get this boat and get our pistols back for all our sakes. Dutchie, why didn't you say anything in there? I did. I told the CO what happened. The guy with the machete didn't see you in that hold. You had the perfect opportunity to take him out. What are you trying to say, Robert? Well, I'm saying that you froze. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, guys, who froze? What? What is going on? Nothing. It's a misunderstanding. Once it's got nothing to do with me, ex. Whoa, 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 whoa. No way Dutchie froze. The guy is a war hero. He's got a medal for gallantry, remember? Two dads, you weren't in the hold. Could just be a campaign medal. I don't know, Dutchie. You tell me. Nara's full of it. Just trying to take the heat off himself because he's stuffed up the video. Yeah, we all stuffed up. And what do you think of my call and that standoff? You think it was right, us laying down our weapons? Dear this, Captain speaking. Based on the grog runners bearing while under our surveillance, we've plotted their prospective course to nearby Port Johnson. Therefore, special sea duty men and cable party close up. Oh, Check out the control state three condition boys. It's been a while since Navy's paid us a visit. Good to see you sailors are finally getting better looking. We're looking for a vessel called Breakaway 3. Yeah, she would have docked sometime in the last two hours. Breakaway 3. No, nah, haven't seen her. Why the interest? We suspect she's involved in grog run. Port Johnson is a dry community, Captain. There's no alcohol here. As harbour master, I know everything that comes in and out of this port. Excuse me. Oi! You can't berth there! Yeah, right-o. Take Swain and check out the marina. I'll contact local police, and I'll send a group into town on some R&R &R to suss the place out. For now, let's keep the issue of the stolen weapons to ourselves. Coffee's good. In town with no beer and one of them spectacular. That's a nice top bomber. 
Thank you, two dollars. We are meant to be eyeing off the locals, not each other. Judge. Hey, Dutch. Well, I thought you'd like to know I took care of that thing with Bro. What thing? You misunderstand? On the boarding. Look, we all feel lousy about what happened. Rose's way of dealing with it is by shifting the blame to others, so... If it was me, I'd take that medal for gallantry of yours and shove it in his face. I'd like to see him win one of those, eh? Tell me that's ever gonna happen. Six up the bill. Hey, what's the damage? Uh, it's 27.80. Steady. Ah, uh, it's all right. Keep the chain. I reckon we split up. We'll cover more of the town that way, yeah? Yeah, sounds like a plan if we see a familiar face. Yeah, I'll take the south. I'll head north. Uh, waters to the east, that leaves the west. We can team up if you like. Yeah, sure. What? Four eyes are better than two, aren't they? Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Checking in, charge. Excellent. You find any evidence of those grog runners? No. No. Well, where's Dutchy? Can you come back with you guys? No. But we're still searching the town. At night. Alone. There, Shani. Oh, no, Lock him up with goods, Dan. You're a drunken idiot. Yeah, I'll take care of him until he sobers up. He'll be crawling back to you in the morning, though. Begging you to forgive him, won't you, son? Thought this was a dry town. Yeah, who are you? I'm with the Navy. Right. Well, the reality is there's always one or two around here that like a bit of homebrew, you know what I mean? Latte, cappuccino, macchiato. Whiskey. Mate, this is a dry community. There's no whiskey here. I'll see what I can do. I'll just be a minute. I'm going to the shops. Be home in bed, Navy boy. Be quick about it, Taylor. We haven't got all night. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Problem, then? I'm just trying to finish this report on today's boarding. Well, I've already given you my account. It was pretty dark in that whole row. I'm surprised that your account is so vivid. What was that?
It's Dachi. Looks like someone found the home brew the CO was talking about. Okay, go grab Charge, get him back on board ASAP. Ma'am. Right, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Turn around. That's it. I don't think homebrew had anything to do with this. I think that cut's gonna require stitches, but these bruises are concerning. How are the ribs? Fine. What was your plan? Take these guys on single-handed? Uh, I didn't expect to hit pay dad, boss. I was, thought I could follow the cafe owner and he'd lead me to a middleman that I could press for information. According to charge, you were meant to phone it in if you discovered anything related to these grog runners. Yeah. I'll call the local cop, Sergeant Booker. No sign of a grog shop. No one in the area has seen or heard anything. What about this cafe owner? He reckons the young man here was after a prostitute. We tell him to get lost. It's a load of rubbish. <laughs> I'm not saying I believe him, but your word against his. We need to find the men responsible, Sergeant. Yeah, I want to find him too, Captain. Sly grog's a big problem around here. It's not just about the sly grog. These men have also stolen weapons. What do you mean? What kind of weapons? Where'd they get them from? From us. Five nine millimeter Brownings. Why didn't you tell me this yesterday? I was hoping we could take care of it ourselves. It's not really something I want made public. Five loaded handguns, not really something I want in my town. I understand and I apologise. I should have been up front with you. But now you realise how important it is that we find these grog runners. Well, I'll do what I can. You say you got a video that can identify him? Dutchie will bring it back for you. Dutchie, last night, were you trying to redeem yourself or were you genuinely looking for a drink? Huh? I watched the tape of the boarding again. Something was going on with you. What was it? I don't know what you're talking about. R.O. was right. You had a chance to take the guy with the machete out and that is an opportunity you would normally not pass up. Oh, what are you trying to say, X? Did I let him attack you? No. I know that your boarding officer was killed in the Gulf. What does that have to do with anything? If you have... Any residual issues from that incident? I was counselled You on need that. to get some help. No. I have been passed fully fit for duty. Now, if you've got a problem with that, write it up in a report. Excuse me. I need to speak with the owner. Are you around? Terry? Uh, no, he went to Darwin this morning. Darwin? Yeah. For a holiday?
Wait, I'm a federal agent. I think you cricked my neck. You're lucky I didn't break it. So how do I really know you're an undercover fed? Well, if I wasn't, you'd be dead. Mate, you got off lightly last night. I pulled all my punches. Really? Didn't feel like it. Well, how come you got away so easily? I distracted him, not you. Just like I made sure that officer chick of yours didn't get dragged into it on the boat. So where's all this stuff headed? Around these islands or what? No, the island trade's chicken feed. This operation is worth millions. It's got links to organised crime here and in Southeast Asia. Most of this stuff is headed south, Sydney, Melbourne. Well, you got the grog, you got the players, why not pounce? <laughs> we don't have all the players. Quinn and the boys are working for someone this end, but I don't know who and we don't have all the Asian connections yet. So what's the next move? <laughs> for you to stay the hell out of the way. No. I'm sorry, mate, I can't do that. I've got to get our guns back. Get your guns. I am this close to smashing an international racket in black market booze. The last thing I need is Navy sticking their big ships in. Quinn! Hey, what are you doing? Dutchie, sweater? Clean linen. I was just um, delivering your linen, Sweno, and I, uh, I was busting to go, so. You finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you going to flush? No. Nah, there's water restrictions, Sweno. If it's yellow, let it mellow. <laughs> Make our own water, you goose. <laughs> hey, uh, by the way, Charles wants you to check those fuses up on one deck if you can. Been around every one of these boats, they're all happy for us to come on board for a look. Yeah, there's no case of legal alcohol on any of these vessels. Or our guns and radios. Well, what do we do now? Not much we can do. We return to base, face the music. Sir, I need to speak with you. What is it? Excuse me, Captain. Got some uh, news on that breakaway three you're all looking for. You found her? Nah, but old Gus who runs a port up in Narambi reckons he's just spotted her heading out to sea. OK, Maxine, thank you. Now I've come, we'll speak to the federal police, see if they can confirm an agent on this case. He said he was close to making a arrest, boss. And what about our guns? He said to forget about the guns. He doesn't want the Navy getting involved. No way. Until we confirm this Fed, we stay on the breakaway three. Retrieving our weapons is just as important as stopping an illegal grog trade. And this gung-ho act's not going to wash Petty Officer Mulholland. Going off without telling me or the ex or anyone else on board the ship, Two breaches of procedure in two days. Is this going to become a recurring problem? No, sir. Happens a third time, you'll be up before a captain's table on charges. Understood? Yes, sir. That's all. 
Excuse me, sir. Um, Coast Watch has spotted a vessel matching the description of the grog runner's boat. Thank you. Set course for it, X? Yes, sir. Above decks, we're going below. Copy that, X. Use caution now. Okay, bomber and two days, you stay up here. Head below. Okay, you be alert. Let's go. It smells even worse down here. Abandoned. Swine. So when did you speak to him? This morning. Any witnesses to this? No, but uh, the main guy, Quinn, showed up, but I'm sure he didn't see me. Well, the warehouse is empty. Looks like they used the breakaway three to draw you out of port while they cleared it. Why weren't the feds watching it? Don't know. Wasn't informed about this operation myself until last night. Seems this fed was trying to ID the boss of the grog syndicate before he called his buddies in. I did get a quick look at the body, though. Shot once to the chest. Small caliber weapon. You carry nine millimeters on board? Why? You say you wrestled this guy? Before I knew he was a fed, yeah. He's saying I shot him. I'm saying you're pretty angry about copping a beating. <laughs> okay. Just can't discount the possibility that he was shot with one of your stolen weapons. Not planning on steaming home anytime soon, are you, Captain? We'll be here as long as we need to be, Sergeant. Well, this is all we need. If that fed was shot with one of our guns, we can kiss all our careers goodbye. Thank you. How'd you get it? That you lent it to me? Yeah, well, it doesn't prove anything. Oh, this is a medal for gallantry. It's not some campaign medal. Yeah, I know. I looked up his citation on the internet yesterday. Medal or not, it doesn't change the fact that he hung the X out to dry. Oh, whatever. I didn't steal it, I swear. Good luck. I was just trying to prove to Roe that you're not a coward. I don't know what's going on with you, but you just left the boat again without asking permission. What's it to you? I'm your divisional officer. It's my job to know what's going on with my sailors. Look, I'm just trying to understand you. No bigger mystery, am I? You are overprotective of me, and you have been on boardings ever since you stepped foot on Hammersley, but in day-to-day -day running at the ship, you avoid me like the plague. I don't get that. There's nothing to get. Do you really hate me that much? No. Look, you've just, you've got it all wrong, okay? Oh, have I? 
What do you want me to say to you, Vex, that I'm sorry? No, I don't want your apology. Well, what do you want? I want you to trust me. It's not you I don't trust, OK? Well, why don't you trust yourself? gone in 10 seconds. Well, call the police. There's no time for that. Dutchie, you heard the CEO. If you go off again, he's going to have you up on charges. What are we going to do? Just let him get away? Damn it, there's no signal. Look, we know the boat's here. Let's just ride back to the harbour and get some back up. No, she's going to sail. Dutchie! Do you want to see the CEO kicked out of the Navy? No. Because that's what's going to happen if we don't get our guns back. It's all my fault, but he's the one that's going to pay the ultimate price. Oh, what are you going to do? Just disable the engine. Might be able to do me a favour. I'll double it. You know the big navy ship in the marina? Yeah. I need you to go there and find the captain. You tell him that Kate has found the boat that we're looking for on this side of the inlet. Yeah, the boat's name is the Mercure. It's really important. Do you think you can remember all of that? Yeah. Okay, go, go. The kids said they saw the boat leave about 20 minutes ago heading north. One of them saw the blonde lady being taken on board. Swain, pursue them and keep me posted. Over. Copy that, boss. Bird, maintain radar watch. The McCure's out there, just waiting for us to grab her. Port 15, revolutions 2000. fault. I dragged you into this. It's not your fault. I made my own choice. Yeah. So trust me. I tried to keep you safe. I just didn't do a very good job of it. If I was quicker, I was smarter, if I anticipated the danger. You couldn't have anticipated this. Instead, the border gets his throat cut. It bleeds out and stinking, rat-infested hull. They're talking about the golf. And I score a medal for it. Bloody ironic is that. I've read the report. You were saving the lives of six sailors. The boarding officer's death, it wasn't your fault. I was his buffer. Second in command. I should have been by his side protecting him. Is that why you're always protecting me? And why you can hardly talk to me? Have you been that petrified of it happening again? It did happen again. I froze. I almost cost you your life. Dutchie, it was a split second, that is all. Sir, contact on the radar. What are its coordinates? 
Oh, and a bearing of 355, range 13 miles. Try and raise them on VHF, row. Sir. Swain, we have an unidentified vessel bearing 355, range 13 miles. Intercept the report back, over. Copy that, boss. Let's close the distance. Port 15, steer 355, revolutions 2000. Vessel in position, 11 degrees south, 134 degrees east. This is Australian warship calling you on VHF channel 16. Request you identify yourself, over. Keep trying, Ro. Boss, we've just arrived at an estuary called Edwards Cove. Uh, suspect vessel still not sighted, over. Copy that, Swain. Vessel in position 11 degrees south, 134 degrees east. This is Australian warship calling you on VHF 16. Stop or heave to, we intend to board you. Over. Thunder, this is Hammersley. How close are you? Over. 500 yards, sir. I can make out the ship's name. Confirm it's the McCure. Snatch border, Swain. Get down! Drop your weapon! Down. Drop Put your down. weapon! Down on the ground! Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! Put it down! Move to the back of the boat! Mama! Check the hole! Move yep. to the back of the boat! Hands in your head! Get down now! Hands to the head! All right, mate, you going. Strong sport, mate. Try rugby. Drop it. Drop it now! No one below decks, and the hold's full of whiskey. No sign of the eggs or duchy. Now it's something that belongs to us. Swain, this is Hammersley. Any sign of the X or duchy? Hey, boss, they're not on board. We have found our Brownings and radios. The grog runners say they don't know anything about where duchy and Kate are, but they also claim not to have been involved in the Fed's murder. And the only weapons we've found are three shotguns and our Brownings. Ammo's accounted for. They're not missing any ammo. Well, at least they weren't used in killing the Fed. So where are they? Feel something. What? It's like a kink in the rope. Can you just bend your wrist back a bit further? <sighs> Sorry, I know it hurts. Just if you get. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's it. That's it. Just a bit oh. more. Oh. oh. I got it. <sighs> you okay? Are you okay? a couple of miles. We might as well be a hundred. There's no way that I can swim that. Well, we can't just sit here and wait for them to pick us off. Dutchy, I won't make it. All right. As soon as I reach land, I'll raise the alarm. Swimming for land. How long ago? Well, not long. We can pick him up on the way back in. I don't need him. Just one of you'll do. What are you doing? Get in the boat. I said get in the boat. No, it all makes sense now. You're part of this. You're the head of the syndicate. Just get in the boat. No. You know, you're making a mistake, Sergeant, because of Hammersley know about the McCure. Yeah, I know. My boys radioed me before they got boarded. 
Now, you're going to radio your captain, and we're going to negotiate a little trade. Oh, he won't go for it. I think he will, if he wants you alive. Now, for the last time, get in the boat. You murdered the federal police officer, didn't you? You said that you heard about the operation the night before he was murdered. Just shut up. Is it really worth killing people over some grog? Grog's just the tip of the iceberg, sweetheart. Let's get in the boat. No, I'm not getting in the boat, and I will not call. No? Well, then maybe I'll just shoot you now and then go and fish your mate out, hey? Uga! Dutchie! Dutchie! Nothing yet, boss. We'll be running out of coastline soon. Hang on. Yeah, boss, we've sighted them. Well done, Swain. Dutchie. That's your ride, Sergeant. Okay. Yep, all good here. How's he? Oh, he'll live. Sign down here. Down here. Feeling better, X? Uh, quite possibly the best hot shower I've ever had, thanks, Bird. <laughs> I hear we had a win all round. We caught up with the grog runners, but more importantly, we got our guns and radios back. And Swain said that all of the ammo's been accounted for. Yeah. Where's Dutchie? Uh, writing his report, I think. X? We're going to have to organise a captain's table. I meant what I said. The fact that he drew you into this situation only made it worse. Pursuing the truck it was my call, not his. Will you let me handle Dutchie? I honestly don't believe that charges are warranted in this instance or in anyone's best interests. OK. You're his divisional officer. Thank you. Got something to say, Robert? No, ma'am. Good. Ma'am. Dutchie, you weren't responsible for what happened in the Gulf. You saved the lives of six sailors on that boarding. I know that. And yesterday you saved my life. I made two dads go for a swim. You earned that. Never forget it. So now maybe you'll talk to me a bit more every now and then, eh? X. Thanks. <laughs>